Hi everybody, welcome to some Xbox gameplay footage you're seeing here. And yes, you can see it right. Look at this, here we have snow. This is just northwest of uh, Severgrad, um, kind of walking down the hill towards the um, college school building. Um, and there we go. We have snow on the ground. Winter Chernerus and Winter Livonia could well be on their way to Xbox and PlayStation consoles. There's a lot of work to do, though, so don't don't get too excited. It's probably going to take a community effort if we want to really achieve something like um, a complete Winter Chernerus or a quick, complete uh, Winter Livonia. What we can probably do, though, is very easily add snow as kind of a point of interest to areas around the map where it may well be appropriate hopefully kind of what you can see here what i tried to do with this snow was that where, where the video started off the snow was quite thick and then as we come down the hill um, it started to, to thin out again so let's have a look at another um, video so this one is at devil's castle um, and again, try to do the same thing where you've got thick snow in places and then you've got thinner snow in other places. Also, I've used the um, CFG effect area dot uh, JSON to spawn in some spooky mist to kind of complete the um, kind of the, the wintry feel. Um, and also, I guess what, what you would probably want to do as well is, is do it so your weather was overcast, wouldn't you? Maybe not raining, but, but definitely overcast. So, And you could set the server time to be winter as well, so it would actually be colder as well. That would be, yeah, that would be pretty cool. And I don't know, I think, it's, um, I think it's a really good effect. Good news is because of the method we use for this, it doesn't seem to put too much strain on the console. Although I'm kind of playing this back on my laptop, this is footage recording from my Xbox Series S. Don't know how it will react when there's lots of players on a server in a similar sort of area. Um, but we're using the object spawner array, using uh, custom JSONs to spawn the snow in. There's also a lot of work to do in terms of the best way to put the snow onto the uh, environment and onto the map but i'll show you how i've done it using um using daisy editor um i think it looks uh, i think it looks uh, looks pretty cool doesn't it looks pretty cool indeed right so let's pause that and let's come out of that so um first we've really got to do credit where credit's due um this is not affiliated with the proper winter chernerus from uh, crazy mike however obviously the amazing work he did back you know uh, done, uh 2018 when he first put up winter chernerus for pc has inspired lots and lots of people to do different things including us console modders so thank you very much crazy mike for creating winter chernerus um big thank out to uh, inclement dab with his daisy editor again this would not be possible without that and also to Beanie Boy 321 who sent me the pictures of the amazing work he's been doing already putting snow into parts of uh, Livonia as well. He really turned me on to this and by having a play around with his, his files it kind of got my imagination going and thinking okay so so how can we do this? You know how can you scale it up? Um, and we had a bit of conversation about that. So what I did was I went into the Daisy editor. So here I'm in Daisy editor. So this is again it's on my PC, um, and um, th this is uh, Increment Does Daisy editor. And what I did was I created a custom brush that painted in the snow. Now the snow is in fact uh, the garden plot uh, hologram. But if we go somewhere, let's go somewhere else where there's no snow. So let's go over here into this field. So if in Daisy Editor you um, look for garden plot uh, placing and plonk it down, it kind of looks like a bit like snow, doesn't it? Um, but it's a bit square. So so what you and it's also above the ground, so you know you could you can kind of set it on the ground. Um, also, you've got. Is it really, you know, practical to to kind of go around and place a load of um, garden plots, kind of kind of like this? And the answer probably is no. So what I've got, as you can see in my brushes up here, I've got snow light. So if we click on snow light, and we make the radius a bit smaller, I can paint in just like a light smattering of snow there. 
Okay, and then we've also then got snow normal. Oh, sorry, we want to put this up to one. So let's go back to slow light. There we go. So the idea is that's a light dusting of snow. And the cool thing about using the brush method is it kind of randomizes the snow plots as it puts them in. So let's go to snow normal. So we've got thicker snow here. And all I'm doing is clicking and dragging. And if you kind of randomize it, you kind of get away a little bit from the garden plots appearing. That's the whole idea. That people can't see the squares. And then I've also done snow deep. And all, all this is, it's it's just altering the offset of the garden plots when they're, when they're spawning in on the world. So it's kind of, the snow deep is just, it's a little bit higher um, and the snow normal is it's a little bit lower and the snow light is, is slightly underneath the surface. So you kind of get this different effect. Like if I do snow deep there, you'll kind of get an idea. There we go. See how thick that is compared to the uh, the smattering of snow. So if you were creating a snow effect, you could have heavy snow with them, then the normal snow um, and then the uh, the snow light as well to kind of fade it in because you know the daisy map this is a big big map and <laughs> it would probably crash if we tried to cover everything in snow but there'd be nothing wrong with having like the tops of hills with snow or like um the ski resort you can have snow there as well can you now as you can see it's creating all these garden plot placings okay so let's um let me show you how to get this uh, custom um, snow brush into uh, your daisy editor so what you want to do is if you go to my github repository um, I'll put a link in the description below the video um, you'll see I've got the daisy editor mod mark one snow brush set because this is probably going to get better um, and the file you're inter interested in is editor brush brushes.xml now this isn't a snippet this is the whole brushes xml which I know probably isn't the best way of doing it, but it's, it's the easiest way to install it. So what you want to do is you want to click on the code button and you want to download the zip and extract it. And then there's, there's a couple of screenshots as well you can kind of look at to do stuff. Now, once you've downloaded that, you've got to find where it is. Now, generally, if you go into your um, documents folder on your computer, in your main drive, there probably there'll be a DAISY folder and then within the daisy folder there will be the editor folder and this is where your editor brushes.xml is and that's what that's what you want to replace that's what, what you want to put over the top um, by all means have a play around with editor brushes.xml so it's quite an easy um, file to muck around with basically the brushes consist of if, so the, all the normal brushes are trees like that so you've got brush object um, what it is, and you can use it, you can put anything down as a brush. You could have zombies down as a brush, it didn't work, but you could put cars or tanks down as a brush. Um, ooh, I didn't undo, I didn't want to do that. Um, and then what I did, now I don't know where, so I put the frequency down as one. I was kind of guessing it seemed to work okay, and the offset is minus, so for the snow light, the offset is minus 1.6, so it's slightly below the surface. Normal is one minus one point five, which again is again slightly below, and the snow deep is minus one point four, and that that seemed to work fine. Um, and then once once you've got that in the uh, Daisy uh, your documents Daisy editor folder, um, what you can do is if you just go uh, editor reload brushes, you'll see them you'll see them appear up here. So normally um, you'd just be dragging stuff in, wouldn't you, over here? Um, no, you're dragging items in, but you click on the brush and then the brush becomes active. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to muck around with the brush radius. Now, I set the brush density to one, um, and then you can again, you can play around with the radius. I'm not quite sure exactly how it works, um, but I tended to find the smaller, like about 20 odd, seemed to give a nice effect. Um, and if you squash it up, it becomes more dense. And you can just click and you can either click and drag or you can just just click. Now, although this does look cool from up here in the sky, if you teleport your character 
down onto the snow and then you have a look round. You will see there are some oddities that happen. I mean, I mean, this looks pretty good. This is the kind of the main thing that happens. It does have a bit of thickness. Um, and if you're on a particularly um, strong slope, um, that it actually sticks out of the ground a bit like a ledge. Um, and in those cases, what you would probably have to do if you were trying to place the snow um, on a on a like a on the side of a steep hill, you'd probably have to put um, things in manually. So you wouldn't use the brush. You'd turn that off, and you would just put the garden plot placing something like that, and then you would be literally going in. Um, whoop. And you could be. changing the angle of it now obviously this it's not really it's not really scalable to be able to do, to do something like this you know for the, for the whole of a hill um, you know you're really going to be struggling aren't you but if you're working on a custom area where you're putting snow around something, then that that may or may well be be a, a way of doing it. Now, the other thing I would say is, if you come up with a better way of placing snow down, you know, changing some of these settings, especially with because I think the brush is the way to go. You know, this this is the way way to go to do it because you can cover such big areas. In fact, if you you can run around as your fella, and you can place snow as you're running around, so you can see gaps like that. You know, this is definitely the way to do it rather than trying to individually place them. I think you've just got to be careful that, that you don't... I mean, look, I mean, I think this looks really good, doesn't it? I mean, that is snow. What sometimes happens is when you're going down a hill, you'll be going, oh, that looks great. And then you'll turn around and you'll have, like, these steps that your character has to, to, has to climb up. So, there we go, my friends. That is how we, as a community are going to be able to create um, Winter Chernerus and Winter Livonia for DayZ on console and PlayStation Xbox. Now, again, I know you could argue that the title of this video a little bit clickbaity because there's a lot of work to do, and I don't think DayZ would actually be able to handle it if we covered the entire map with um, garden plots um, so that it appeared white. But I definitely think we can do a lot of the... Uh, points of interest and add snow to those and especially by adding the spooky mist as well that that is uh, a very very cool indeed you know maybe things like um let's have a look so um there's some tall hills isn't that up um northeast over here um by tizzy uh, down the western side of the map you could maybe make um uh the I one of the islands like like snowy i think it's, it's got to be the high points isn't it the tops of hills that, that you really want to be doing uh, or in or in or in the shadows but there we go so hopefully this has given you some ideas give me some inspiration give me the tools to start diving in and uh, and playing around with daisy editor by me download my brush and um have a go at creating snow and hopefully we can share these files so you know if people you know share their points of interest files of maybe a snowy um red mountain you know a snowy northwest airfield a snowy north northeast airfield um various parts of livonia we can kind of bring them together and on your particular community servers you can uh, choose which you bits you want to be snowy all right well good i'm very inspired by all this and thank you again to the people i mentioned before for inspiring us you know the original winter chairness um dab with his um editor and um Especially again to um, Beanie Boy three two one who sent me the pictures who really inspired me to have a crack today and have a go. Right, well that's enough from me. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again soon. <laughs>